Hey there, and welcome to Sunday School Simplified. If you haven't joined us before, this is where we take our Sunday School lesson and squeeze it into a short, sweet video that is good for all ages and the entire family. Um, now, the past couple weeks, we've been talking about prayer, um, and last week, we talked about why we pray, and this week, we talked about how we can pray. Um, and I will remind you a bit about last week. Uh, it's Jesus explaining to his disciples. They ask him, they say, teacher, can you teach us how to pray the way John the Baptist um, taught his disciples? And he talks about um, why we pray. We pray for fulfillment. That's our daily bread and uh, for forgiveness um, and I like to remind you that though we don't always ask, it's nice to ask, but we don't have to because God forgives us no matter what, um, and also for God's wisdom. And those three uh, main elements really make up and go on further to explain how we got our Lord's Prayer as we know it. Um, and we say it every week in church. I say it every night with my family. Um, but easily you can see we've started a list that can get really long. And my number one rule for praying is that there are no rules. Um, it can be however, wherever, whenever you... Um, you like to pray, you feel comfortable praying, and, and that's the point um, as we get into today is we know why now we pray, but how can we pray? And again, I will remind you, there is only one rule, and the one rule is that there are no rules. But Pastor Mary passed out these cute little um, prayer journals and I accidentally gave mine away. I'm so bummed. I got to get a new one. Uh, but there are three different prayers that um, you can really use as a guide if you don't know where to start. Um, but they also make great reminders, even if you feel like you've prayed all the prayers. Um, they were a great reminder for me. So the first one is help, a prayer for help. Um, I know I've prayed lots of prayers for help, whether that be um, help seeking God's wisdom or help healing your body or someone else's body of sickness or disease. Um, and then the second one is thanks. So sometimes we just want to praise Jesus because uh, God is good and um, Jesus is love, and it's good to just say thank you. Sometimes our prayers of help are answered in terms of healing or wisdom, um, and it's always good to then have a follow-up prayer for thank you um, for that prayer. And the third, and this one might be surprising to some of you, is wow. Wow. So we learned in Vacation Bible School this year uh, that God is surprising. And another way you can think of a wow prayer is like a God wink or a God moment um, where it's just too good to be true to be a coincidence um, or even like right now we are experiencing wonderful rain um, and we can say a prayer of thanks for the much needed rain but then when the sun comes out and there's a rainbow or even more surprising a double rainbow and you can just say to God be the glory or he is magnificent like that it's as simple as that like we have to retrain ourselves to to keep it simple right um sometimes we lose that innocence and that simpleness um when we're younger and we think it has to be complicated it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be intricate the more you do it um the easier and it is and the more comfortable you will feel doing these three and you won't need a reminder, but until then, 
um, or even if you are well practiced, writing them down and seeing them can really help restore our faith um, and renew our faith even. I love um, that this week's message also tied in so well with our devotion from the food truck, the Bible food truck that we've been using. Um, And this week, the scripture verse is from John chapter 4, 1 through 42. Um, And it's about Jesus traveling and he stops in Samaria to get water from a well. Um, And he asks the woman for a drink and for one it's surprising because she's a Samaritan and he's a Jew and they don't normally talk. Two, he's a man and she's a woman and women back then usually were not addressed let alone being asked permission to do something. Um, So it just shows again that Jesus was for all people, with all people, um, for all people. And this lesson is often called the living water and but it's not a water that you can drink if you seek this water if you drink this water every day it's much like the daily bread that it is seeking um god's wisdom but also living the life as jesus intended us for us to live uh with love and compassion um all of those things and tying it in with the living water and then the scripture from the message today from Colossians chapter 2. It's a long one. It's like 1 through 19. Uh, But it talks about just knowing that Jesus and our faith as we know it. um, In Christ we have everything we need. When we keep following him, we keep growing. Um, and that's often a, 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 a tree metaphor in this lesson. Um, and it's funny because when you ask the kids what makes the roots deep, when your roots run deep, the tree is, is, it can grow tall and steady and firm. Uh, what are one of the things, what's one of the things you need to keep those roots healthy? And it's water. So that took me in a really big moment, but I finally completed the circle and we are at that full circle moment. The living water, the daily bread, it's all tied together and helping us build this foundation, our roots, where we get the nutrients of life, Jesus, living, breathing, drinking the living water and prayer is also another one of those things that helps to support your root system and get that good foundation um and if you know jesus it just it's so much more fulfilling and nourishing knowing that we are living that life that he challenges us every day to live. It's not easy. It's not the easy life. Trust me. Always choosing love and kindness and patience. Um, but it is so much more nourishing and fulfilling in the end when we try our best. So uh, I hope that you followed me on that really large circle um, as we came to completion and that you uh, make your own prayer journal. I encourage you to write those prayers down, the help, not just the help, but the thanks and the wow prayers too. Um, And remember, the only rule is there are no rules. That's Sunday School, not so simplified this week. I hope you have a healthy, safe, and happy week. Not going to say dry because we do need the rain, um, especially if you're here in Vegas. But have a blessed one, and we'll see you next time.